what to you is the most beautiful, speaking of hyenas, mm -hmm. uh, what to you is the most beautiful uh, nature-inspired algorithm in your work that you've come across, something maybe earlier on in your work or maybe today? I, I think it evolution uh, computation is the most amazing method. So what fascinates me most is that uh, with computers is that you can you can get more out than you put in. I mean, you mm. can write a piece of code and your machine does what you told it. I mean, this happened to me in my freshman year. I, it did something very simple and I was just amazed. I was blown away that it would, it would get the number and it would co compute uh, the result and I didn't have to do it myself. Very simple. Uh, but if you push that a little further, you can have machines that learn and they might learn patterns uh, and already, say, deep learning neural networks, they can learn to recognize objects, sounds, um, patterns that humans have trouble with. And sometimes they do it better than humans. And that's so fascinating. And now if you take that one more step, you get something like evolutionary algorithms that discover things, they create things, they come up with solutions that you did not think of. And that just blows me away. It's so great that we can build systems, algorithms that can be in some sense smarter than we are, that they can discover solutions that we might miss. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times it is because we have, as humans, we have certain biases. We expect the solutions to be a certain way. And you don't put those biases into the algorithm so they are more free to explore. And evolution is just absolutely fantastic explorer. And that's what, what really is fascinating. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> I get made fun of a bit because I currently don't have any kids. But you mentioned programs. I mean, um, do you have kids? Yeah. So maybe you could speak to this, but there's a magic to the creation, creative process. Like I, uh, with, with Spot, uh, the, the Boston Dynamics Spot, but really any robot that I've ever worked on, it just feels like the similar kind of joy I imagine I would have as a father. N uh, not the same perhaps level, but like the same kind of wonderment, like yeah. that's exactly this, which is like, you know what you had to do <laughs> initially to uh, to get this thing going, uh, let's, let's speak on the computer science side, like what the program looks like, but something about it uh, doing more than yeah. what the program was written on paper is, is like, that somehow connects to the magic of this entire universe. Like that's, that's like, I, I feel like I found God. Every time I like, <laughs> it's like, because uh, <laughs> you've really created something that's yeah. living. Yeah. Even if it's a simple It has program. a life of its own, has intelligence of its own. It's beyond what you actually thought. Yeah. Uh, and that is, I think it's exactly spot on. That's exactly what it's about. Uh, you created something and has a, a ability to uh, live its life and, and do good things. And um, you just gave it a starting point. So in that sense, I think it's, that may be part of the joy, actually. Yeah. 